Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and kind of finish up the free spulser guide for you guys and uh, show you a little bit more content. Although I don't know why I'm lagging in my hideout so much. Kappa 150 MS in Washington. Oh, there we go. So um, I got to level 90 in Hardcore Mayhem, which is kind of what the goal was for this character, was to kind of just jump in and play something with Volpack since Volpack is getting removed. Uh, I can actually say as well that I played around with Frostbolt, and personally, I enjoy Freeze Pulse more than Frostbolt. It doesn't really have to do with one being better than the other, it's just different playstyles. Uh, Frostbolt should do less damage per second, but will try. It, it basically is like more smooth for map clearing. Freeze Pulse does more damage per second, uh, but is a bit, I guess, uh, a bit more technical to use just because of the way like the damage falls off. But overall, you could just pretty much swap out the jewels and the skills and you could play it as Frostbolt or Freeze Pulse. I don't actually know if you need to get projectile speed uh, with Frostbolt though, so you could probably cut out from that. Um, the character feels pretty well. Uh, I would probably say if you want to do like T15s and like red tier maps and like actually sexing them and stuff, you may want to favor a support or doing your Uber Lab. I didn't bother doing Uber Lab because it was just a short race, so it's no problem. But I want to go ahead and show you guys a little bit more content with this. I'm sorry I don't have any like high tier maps. Uh, I got to 90 pretty much just doing like T6, 7, 8, and 9 maps running like beaches and strong boxes. Uh, in terms of uniques, I didn't actually end up using anything except for like a Star Conja, Belt of Deceiver, which I think would easily be replaced with like the new Abyss stuff coming out in 3.1 because you're not actually always in the Intimidation range because Intimidation is maybe like, I don't know, like not, not too big specifically. Holy, whoa, whoa, lag, lag, Kappa, what? <laughs> GG servers, please, what's happening? Feels 140 ping, man. This is, uh, this is not very safe to make a video in. Is this mob, like, frozen or am I stuck? Um, 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 um. Um, yes, that's pretty much the map. So uh, let's talk about the actual character themselves. So uh, the build itself was pretty smooth to level. Uh, I didn't really have many issues leveling it pretty much throughout the entirety of the character. Uh, I don't know what else I would do for increasing like my freeze. If you want to reliably freeze like higher tier bosses as well, like I was able to freeze pretty much Pretty much everything I fought, of course I didn't make it up to red tier maps, but even in red tier maps, you should do just fine freezing targets. But if you really want to get like maximum freeze potential, I would probably say you want to get jewels with freeze duration. So like personally, I was looking for things with crit multiplier and life. I think crit multi and life are like the strongest things you can get alongside with like cast speed and crit chance. Uh, so this is definitely what I was doing. Um, I don't even know if you actually want to go down here and grab flash freeze. The reason why I say this is because the more projectile speed you get for freeze pulse, the different it becomes to aim it, which is going to sound kind of weird. But it works like this. If you have, say, like my freeze pulse is currently at, uh, what's the actual prod speed? Am I like stupid here? Projectile speed? Is it defense misc projectile speed so we're 84 percent and that's with no gem in freeze pulse uh located right here so <clears throat> the more projectile speed you have the longer it takes for freeze pulse to fan out so if i click freeze pulse here you can see it hits like i don't know a fourth of my screen if i click freeze pulse here it hits nothing compared to that and the more prod speed you have the th the thinner the cone is when you first cast it 
So that's probably the only thing I disliked about Freeze Pulse is how when I'm kind of shield charging through areas, going from pack to pack, I have to kind of take my mouse and point it back to my character uh, before I actually do it. So that's, that's probably about it. But other than that, the character has been a lot of fun. It's been really enjoyable. All right, let's see if this map is fixed now. Let's see if we can go, like, actually run it. moment of your time. Uh oh, the lag's coming back, boys. No, I'm almost done with the map. Let me clear it. What's over here? Okay. Map successfully cleared, boys. All right. So kind of to talk about links now, because I think my links might be a bit odd compared to what most people would use. So we've got hypothermia, freezing pulse, uh, spell Echo, Increased Critical Strike Chance, Added Cold, and Ice Bite. Now, the reason why I decided to go with Ice Bite, because I wasn't originally, is because Frenzy Charges in general are very strong. And we decided we wanted to use Calm's Roots. But I told myself, if you use Calm's Roots, you're not going to have any movement speed because you're minus 30%. So how do you kind of make up for the lack of movement speed? Well, the answer is Shield Charge, right? But Shield Charge by itself does not really make you move very fast. So, um, I decided to kind of favor Cast Speed and Movement Speed. So, Precision is a node I usually pass by, but I actually think it has very great value. 3% Attack Speed it works for Shield Charge, along with Cast Speed for Freeze Pulse, uh, along with 3% Movement Speed, Attack Speed, and Cast Speed. I ended up dropping Nimbleness, and I picked up uh, a Frenzy Charge here. I did originally have this Frenzy Charge, but I dropped it and I dropped some life to grab Flash Freeze, which I may drop. Um, the only thing about this Frenzy Charge is this is increased evasion, which is useless for us because we're using Calm's Roots, so that kind of sucks. Um, and then overall, that's pretty much all the changes that I've done with the tree. Uh, I don't really know what else I would do. Uh, the only exception is, like I said, maybe dropping Flash Freeze uh, and, I don't know, you could potentially go up here, grab like... Uh, a Jewel Socket, Cruel Preparation, Deep Thoughts. Uh, I was thinking of getting an Intuitive Leap here, Jumping, Grabbing, Overcharge, Dreamer, and Melding. Um, I would say go to the Scion Life Wheel, but that's really far away. So instead of Scion Life Wheel, you could also go like 1, 2, 3, 4 and grab Arcane Potency and Purity of Flesh. Uh, you could also decide to go like 1, 2, 3 into Elementalist, Light a Divinity for 2 points, go across, grab like... The devotion cluster and the jewel socket that's pretty much all i've got for the character um reflect wasn't too bad i mean reflect was definitely kind of scary at times but i think that the spell dodge really helps against reflect along with like fortify and of course with vol grace we're almost like 70 percent spell dodge uh cast some damage taken warlord's mark is very important for that as well so i'll go over my links one last time um we got faster attacks shield charge fortify now actually i would replace this and put it in my gloves with quality culling strike for 10 percent increased attack speed so then in my gloves there would be increased duration vol grace vol haste uh my star concha and you don't have to use this but the only reason for it is 10 percent attack speed very good for shield charge 100 life nobody can complain about on a helmet uh and then 25 percent global crit works for spells as well which is really cool so we've got herald of ice cast one damage taken warlord's mark so these two go together and then it's herald of ice with onslaught um, this onslaught's not very reliable. I think putting Culling Strike with it as well would be pretty cool. 
Summon Lightning Golem, increase the ration Arcane Surge. I was curious on how to get Arcane Surge, like, in general. I didn't really want to Flame Dash. I don't like having multiple mobility skills. I'm pretty simple. So, I realized that if I just summon my Golem, I can get a 7 second Arcane Surge. So basically, right before a boss fight, you would pop your flasks, shield charge in for Fortify, pop your Golem, and then hit, like, your Vol skills. Uh, and I believe that's, like, 160, 170k tooltip, maybe? Let's check. I know the tooltip warriors like to see it, so I got you, boys. Don't worry. Alright, that is 178k with no Vol Haze. I don't even know if Vol Haze shows on the tooltip itself. Alright then, guys. That's pretty much about it with the character. Hope you guys like it. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, I am working on a new project right now, which is going to be my Explosive Arrow Slayer uh, that will be playing in Mayhem for probably the remainder of the Mayhem League. Now, this is in solo self-found because I talked about saying I wanted to play SSF a little bit. So hopefully I can get you guys some updates with that uh, by the end of the day today and or like early morning tomorrow. But that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Uh, remember that there is a podcast for <clears throat> State of RPG hosted by Zeno and myself happening uh, this Sunday. Now, I do have a command for it in my channel, so you guys can check that out as well. Uh, and guest stars will be Mr. Llama and Sequisha. Um, so that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.